the off season as he tries to make his decision on potentially leaving or staying? Uh, really, that's not anything I'm ready to get into at this moment. Uh, I told him when, I, uh, when the season ended, uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday, that we would get together and, and kind of visit and make the best decision for him. He wasn't able to play tonight, but he still was making an impact, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, seeing him over there working with Brandon Campbell in particular, what, did you get a little bit of a kick out of that, watching him? I did, and that's one of the things we talked about throughout the week. I think we knew pretty early that, uh, you know, it wasn't going to be a shot for the week. Uh, so, uh, talk to him about, you know, if you mind still coming out here and finish this thing, what's this going to need you to be the extra set of eyes for a minute? He's staying that kid's here. Because uh, we knew we were going to try to get him some you know, some touches to One of the things that Keontae said about Brennan is that he can see his confidence kind of grow as the game went mm -hmm. along. When that happens, what do you kind of say to the player? What, is it kind of just something that clicks there? Uh, it's nothing that I say. It's, just, it's kind of like Keontae early on in the year. Once you start, you know, once you start, got to four or five touches, he started to get in the rhythm and had a big smile on his face. And, uh, you know, uh, and I, I thought he showed some, some good things. What does the next week look like for, for you and the rest of the coaching staff? Well, uh, we'll come back in uh, Monday and Tuesday. We'll have uh, individual, meet individual meetings with Coach Ryan. We'll go from there. When you're looking at this season overall, what's, how do you describe it when you move forward from this? Well, just like everything else in life, uh, you got to learn. we got to go back. we have to assess it. And, uh, you know, from our team standpoint, from our offensive standpoint, and i got to go back and assess it from a running, a running back standpoint. And mentioned this last week, but Vi getting a 100-yard game to finish his career off, what did that mean to you? Uh, you know, uh, I'm missing him the most. Uh, the impact that he's had on, on uh, the Trojan family uh, will last a lifetime. Do you feel like... When you see his, his senior year and the way it went, do you feel bad? Oh, you do. You can't help but be disappointed. Not just provide for all of us. You no, know, it, it, it's, it's been a, a you know a, not a journey in which uh, the last few years have been tough. You know, through the COVID last year, uh, new coaches coming in, and, uh, getting the six the six year olds, those uh, those COVID seniors. You know, they've been through a lot, and, and they don't know what's right now. They can't see it right now, but they'll grow from this. They'll learn from it, and they'll make it better.